Articulated Spawn figures. New updates from NECA for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Super 7 for Thundercats. A first look at the Godzilla vs. Kong products from Playmates Toys. New Transformer Earthrise rumors and more. All in today's news video. So let's jump into it. Hey all you action figure enthusiasts out there. JC here with another TNI news video. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's jump right into it. Now, first of all, I just want to let you guys know that yesterday I sat down with Todd McFarlane. I mentioned I was going to be doing an interview with him the other day in my last news video. So that happened yesterday. It was a very long interview, much longer than I was anticipating. Originally, I thought it was only going to be like 15 minutes or so, and it ended up lasting over an hour and a half. Now, the full interview is going to be up tomorrow here on YouTube. We'll have it posted on Toy News International, but I will be uploading it here to YouTube for you guys to check it out. Again, it will be a long interview. It's going to be over an hour long. So um, bring the popcorn and what have you so you can you know sit through it and watch it. But I do think it's a pretty interesting interview overall. We not only talk about the new DC Multiverse stuff, and, and, and I go into a lot of questions with him over that stuff. And honestly, not every answer he gives is going to be answers that you guys particularly like but hopefully you will at least under come away understanding why maybe things are happening and I will be sharing my own thoughts on on the interview probably uh, the day after I, I, I didn't want to include it in in the actual interview video because it's already so long but I probably will do a video the day after just giving my own thoughts on everything that was talked about but um, and then we talk about other product lines like Spawn, uh, Mortal Kombat, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, uh, the possibility of them possibly doing Witcher, uh, the Witcher uh, figures. You know, they're doing the Cyberpunk 2077 stuff who and the same company does the Witcher. So I asked him about that. So, again, a lot of interesting tidbits of information. Uh, Todd was great to sit down with me and spend so much time just talking about this stuff. I really do appreciate it. And I do hope you check that video out tomorrow. Now, because originally I was going to try and have that interview up today, I have uh, provided you this little snippet preview from the interview, which does have some revealing news, and it is in regards to Spawn action figures. Uh, many of you have been asking me, you know, are we going to see new Spawn figures? Are they going to be articulated? Well, let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Well, last question. I, I couldn't okay. let you go without asking a, a Spawn question. Um, okay. You've got the movie, which if you want to give us an update on that, we'd love to hear it. But uh, one of the big questions is, are we going to see uh, articulated, you know, with your new articulation that you've been doing with your figures? Are we going to see that with Spawn and, you know, maybe even like a Batman Spawn crossover release or something now that you have the DC license? You know, anything you can tease for, for the Spawn fans out there? Yeah, so, so let's, let's take them in reverse order. So... Will there be in, in, uh, more Spawn toys coming out this year? Definitely. So the answer is yes. Um, will, will they be a little more articulated than what they've been in the past? Yes, because people were just going to apply probably the same things, that, like I said, that we're doing with the DC Multiverse and with um, you know, Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite and even to some extent what we were doing with Mortal Kombat. Uh, so, you know, it'll be in that range, um, and, and we'll have some fun with it and, and keep sort of teasing some of that stuff out there. Uh, in terms of the movie... So there you go. You can see that, in fact, Spawn is returning this year. Uh, they are doing new Spawn action figures, and at least some of them are going to have added articulation, very similar to their Fortnite figures and the new DC Multiverse stuff. So um, if you are a Spawn fan, I, I think you're going to have some cool things to look forward to later this year. Now, in the video, um, you saw I kind of teased it at the end. He also goes on to talk a bit about the upcoming Spawn movie. So, um, and, and again, that will be revealed in the full interview that comes up tomorrow. So, you know, hopefully you do check that out. Now, while I'm going to wait and talk really more about the McFarland DC stuff after the, the interview is aired, I, I do have some information to share with you on the Spin Master front. Now, I should note that both the Spin Master stuff and the McFarland toy stuff has seemingly started to hit shelves. People are starting to find them at places like Target and Walmart and such. So if you're wanting to get your hands on any of these, then you probably should start checking your local store. And then, of course, places like our sponsor, Big Bad Toy Store, had these up for pre-order. They sold out pretty quickly, and I believe they're supposed to start shipping those out sometime later this week. But 
for the Spin Master stuff. Now, keeping in mind, the Spin Master stuff is made more for the kids. If you're not aware, the license, the DC license, which once belonged to Mattel, was taken away from them or they gave it up. I'm not sure exactly which, but but they no longer have that license and it was split up into kind of two different halves. Uh, the bigger half went to Spin Master and they're the ones doing the mainstream stuff. They're, I guess, kind of the master toy license holder and um, they're doing the stuff that's really geared more for the kids while McFarlane is doing the stuff geared more towards the collectors. However, um, and, and Spin Master is doing various scales. They do have a six inch line of action figures, but they only have three points of articulation. So I don't think it's really gonna be something that terribly appeals to the collector. But they do have a line actually that they've announced for four inch figures. And so if you are a four inch collector, I think these actually look pretty good. Um, they're not perfect. You know, some of the portions are a little bit off. Some of the hands on some of them look a little big. But overall, you know, the articulation seems to be decent on these and, and you know, the overall look of the figures uh, don't look too bad to me. So like with McFarlane, they've broken these up into two types of assortments. There's a Batman assortment and then there's everybody else under a normal DC assortment. So we've gotten a lot of figures that have been announced. And again, these are starting to actually hit shelves now. But they've got Batman, a Rebirth Batman. They've got a Clayface that's in a deluxe set with a Batman on a on a, a bike. Then there's other deluxe figures like Man Bat and and uh, King Shark. There's also a regular uh, King Shark figure that's being released as a Target store exclusive. There's another Batman figure. There's a lot of Batman figures, and one of those will be a Target store exclusive as well. They're doing characters like Shazam, Flash, Cyborg, Superman. Of course, have been announced uh, for the non. Batman stuff. We're getting a variant, other variants of Batman include a gold version and then also Joker of course and Nightwing is getting uh, the treatment as well. So definitely and, and Robin uh, of course as well. Now each of these figures have this kind of weird uh, mystery accessory thing going on. I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I guess that's supposed to appeal to the kids but I guess it's kind of a blind bag accessory deal. Um, I haven't seen the accessories up close, so uh, it, it's hard to say, but that's what they're billing them as, is like mystery accessories, and each figure comes with like three. So, um, you know, like I said, if you're a four inch collector, and I know there are those of you out there who are, uh, you know, I think you'll definitely find these kind of interesting. They're maybe not, you know, maybe, again, these are primarily made more for the kids than the adult collector, but these are probably good enough, I think, that, that adult collectors uh, might be interested. The other stuff, the 12-inch stuff, the 6-inch stuff, you know, I mean, unless you just collect everything that's DC-related, I, I really don't see them interesting you much unless you're getting it for your kids. But but the 4-inch figures, again, I, I, I do think can kind of maybe cross that border and be appealing to both kids and adult collectors alike. Now, for you uh, Godzilla fans, so you may or may not have heard it was actually first announced back in August, though it really did, the announcement really didn't seem to get much traction. And that is that Playmates Toys has taken the license to do figures and toys based on the upcoming Kong vs. Godzilla movie. That's the next uh, Godzilla, or, you know, there was a King Kong movie and then there was uh, been two Godzilla movies and now there's going to be a Kong vs. Godzilla movie. So it's part of that same universe. And Playmates Toys is going to be doing uh, figures based on that movie. Now, I will warn you that these images that have surfaced from uh, one of the Hong Kong toy fairs that's going on right now, and these images come from Reddit, so I'll put a link to that. Uh, but they do contain possible spoilers for the movie. So if you don't want any spoilers for the upcoming movie, I, I would just kind of skip ahead a, a few minutes. But um, what I'm here, and I'm not even exactly sure what it is that we're looking at here. But um, basically, uh, it's images of looks like uh, King Kong, or it looks like Godzilla versus uh, some type of skeleton monster. A skeleton ver almost version of himself and then there's one where Kong's fighting something similar so again uh, I, I don't I, I guess I'm not a God's enough of a Godzilla expert to know if this is something that actually was has been previously seen or if this is something that's completely made up for this movie but what it looks like to me is almost like skeleton versions of, of the monsters so. now I do expect more details will come about and uh, and actually there have been reports of of Godzilla figures from Playmates toys which look very similar to the Bandai America stuff that was already out on shelves. Even the packaging looks almost identical. 
really the the main way you can tell is you you just have to look at the logo on the packaging to see whether it's playmates or bandai but there's actually a product from playmates for godzilla already hitting shelves now and i i believe it's maybe not quite as detailed as the bandai america stuff even though the bandai america stuff wasn't probably super detailed all these are really made more for the kids than the adult collector but 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 as it is right now, Playmates is doing some uh, releasing some Godzilla stuff. Okay, switching gears a little bit to Marvel. So uh, this week it was announced that Mezco is doing another previews exclusive 112 collective figure. This time it is based on the Spider-Man Far From Home movie. It is the Night Monkey figure, even though they're still calling it the Stealth Suit figure. I don't know why they're not officially now calling it the Night Monkey. Uh, that seems to be the name that stuck stuck from the movie. I understand when they first started showing versions of these figures, they didn't want to spoil the movie, but now the movie's been out for a long time. So it seems like they should be calling it Night Monkey. But anyway, uh, Mezco is doing a, a 112 Collective uh, figure for Spider-Man in the black suit. And you've got two different head sculpts with the figure. You've got a, a beat up looking Peter Parker head sculpt. And then you have the masked head sculpt with the, the goggles, which do lift up on the on the mask and then you've got multiple webbing effects you've got multiple hands and then of course you get the figure flight stand that you always get with the mezco 12 one stuff now this figure is currently up for pre-order again it's being offered as a previews exclusive which means it's available pretty much everywhere online that sells mezco stuff as well as your comic and specialty shop you know they can order it for you at your comic book local comic book store if you want to and again this figure is up for pre-order and you can go to places like our sponsor big bad toy store to to secure one if, if you want. On the Transformers front, I've got a few more rumors for you. So I talked about some of the Transformer Earthrise rumors that had surfaced online recently from, from some store listings uh, in my last news video. A lot of you guys have been asking for more Transformer news. So I have a few more rumors that I wanted to share with you today. Again, these are from... Uh, this actually comes from a source by the name of Mr. Chaos, and as I understand it, uh, and I believe he's getting these from some type of store uh, retail listing, but his information has been fairly reliable in the past. So while we technically are treating this as rumor, you know, again, he's proven to be pretty reliable with his information. But the listings that he's come up with are uh, a deluxe airwave, a deluxe smoke screen, and then also a new deluxe RC figure, which should be interesting. The last RC, you know, they've done some pretty awesome RC figures in the recent past. So it'll be hard, you know, interesting to see if they're able to improve upon that or what have you. And then the final one is listed as a, a Quintesson Alicon. So if you're not familiar, these guys, I, I, I I've always called them um, Sharkticons, but I, I believe that what differentiates them from the regular Sharkticons is these guys were more as like guards for the Quintessons that maybe a little bit bigger in robot mode. Uh, maybe even their their whatever mode, their monster mode is a little bit different than the regular Sharkticon, but I always called them Sharkticon, but I think technically the name is Alicon and, and they are essentially kind of the security guards for the Quintesson. So I talked about the Quintesson rumors in my last news video that it looks like we were going to be getting a new uh, Quintesson figure for the Earthrise series and this would go right along with that. This week, Hasbro finally revealed the fourth figure and their fourth wave of six inch lightning collection Power Ranger figures. So we'd seen the previous three figures and we pretty much knew what the fourth figure was going to be. So the figures that had been previously announced for this wave include the SPD Red Ranger figure, the Zeo Blue Ranger figure, and then Cyber Villain Blaze. And then finally, the fourth figure, rumors were correct, and it is the Yellow Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now the Yellow Ranger is going to have two different head sculpts. You're going to have the helmeted head and then the unmasked head. You're going to have two daggers, a blaster, and two effect pieces. And this wave is now available for pre-order. Again, you can go to our sponsor Big Bad Toy Store and secure those figures if you'd like. Okay, and then for the final bits of news that I have for you guys today are really kind of updates on previous stories I've talked about. But Super 7 has put up for pre-order now their second wave of Ultimate Thundercat figures. So I, I talked about these in, in a previous video, but now they are up for pre-order. So you, again, you can go to a sponsor like Big, our sponsor Big Bad Toy Store and you can pre-order these now. Uh, new images for all the figures have been released. So we're getting like side views and front views and everything for the figures. And overall, they look pretty good. Uh, some have noticed that like Tigra doesn't seem to have like a waist swivel, which is 
kind of annoying if that ends up being the case. It's hard to tell actually. There maybe is a, a seam line there that just isn't showing up well in the image, but that definitely is kind of annoying if they don't include that. With the Mumra figure, some had been asking about the cape. So in these new images, you can see that he does have a soft goods cape, which looks pretty good on it. So that that's definitely looking like an impressive figure. And then you've got the Groon, which continues to look good. He's got the two different chest plates. He's got the one with the Thundercat symbol and the one without. He's got two different head sculpts and various other accessories. And then also finally, you've got the, the Pumara figure that's been updated. So it's no longer super tall like the Mattel version. And again, these figures are now available for pre-order at places like Big Bad Toy Store. And if you want to get these, you know, nice thing about these, they are costly. They cost about $45 each, but you don't have to get the entire wave. You can pick and choose if you want. I definitely am planning on getting Tiger. I definitely am looking to try and fill out the original team that Mattel started and hopefully Super 7 will finish. NECA Toys today had a few reveals on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle front. So first of all, they released some final package images for their second wave of GameStop exclusive 90s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. So this second wave includes Shredder, Splinter, and, and a Foot Soldier. So these are the figures that were previously released as the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive last year, but now getting the single pack release. They don't have quite as many of the accessories and everything. We saw them do the same thing with the first wave. Um, and again, these are GameStop exclusives, and these are slated to start hitting shelves next month. And then finally, NECA revealed new official images for their third wave of Target exclusive animated series Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures. So we've seen these figures on display at some of the conventions, but now we have our first official images. More images will be coming and not all the accessories that the figures are, are going to include are being seen in these images. So those updated images with all the accessories will be included. Now the way this wave breaks down, once again, we're gonna be getting two packs. And so the first two pack is gonna include Casey Jones with a foot soldier, technically they're calling the slashed foot soldier. Then we're gonna be getting a new April O'Neil figure with what they call a bashed foot soldier. And then the third two pack is going to be Leatherhead and Slash. Now, once again, you can see some of the accessories that these figures are gonna be included with in these images, but there are more expected to be um, included as well. So those details will be coming soon. And then this wave is slated to be released, assuming you can find them. I've yet to find the Rocksteady and Bebop at Target from the second wave, but assuming you can find these, these are supposed to be out on shelves this coming spring. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on everything we talked about. Let me know in the comments section below. And again, please be sure to tune in tomorrow. It'll be up here on YouTube, my interview with Todd McFarlane. It is a long one, but a lot of interesting tidbits that I think many of you are gonna find interesting. So again, I don't have an exact time, but probably sometime in the afternoon, it should be live. And of course, once it is live, we'll have it posted on Toy News International as well. So as always, follow me here, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video, and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification to alert it every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great.